Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Full Throttle Remastered. Okay, our bike is fixed, we now need to continue on the journey, but the cops are all waiting for us. So what do we do, baby? I got you. I got you. We're gonna go in here, and we're actually just gonna set off the alarm. It's as simple as that. Perfect, and now we can actually like, oh! I love it. How dare Let's you? Get him. How dare right, you call me, me a piece of trash? Alright, so they should leave now, which means I can leave, and I can actually just get out of there. I like how the cops are like, oh, you know what? Let's just grab everybody. Let's bring everybody there. Beautiful. Here. Oh, hey. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Oh, shit! The ambush! Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full when she blow my gasket, I surely was thankful. Oh boy. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. This guy's got quite the singing yeah. voice. But he's having a hard time zanking up his wanger. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. Oh, damn. He's just gonna kill him? Oh God, really? Why? You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Mal. You are a petty motherfucker. What a psycho. Gotcha. Uh oh. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley. Oh, crap. Ben. I guess Rick Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> That's a heck of a, a wound, but I mean, I feel like you're gonna be all right. Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Not minivans! Oh. <laughs> Not minivans! You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Oh, Promise me, you'll hurt him bad. Oh, okay. I promise. <laughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanic. Oh shit, is Moe's daughter? We built the first carburetor when she was four. What? Yeah, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <clears throat> Find my daughter, Ben. I think I know who your daughter Find is. Find Marine. And now Marine. he's dead. There she is. Oh crap! Oh, she sees him. See ya! Dang, Grill. Rip Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. I think she's got it. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor. What's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? Does look like that the uh, no shack, but I don't the see film the from the camera on. was taken, so that's good. I don't know if I like like. I don't know what I like more. I don't know if I like the remastered look more thought. or like the old school yeah, look. Because I really am a fan of pixel art and the game still looks quite good by today's standards. So, uh, let's actually go take a look at the debris. See if there's anything there. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Well, can I... Back's open. 
No film inside. Can I, hmm. can I take it? Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Okay, so the mink ranch. But hang on, I don't trust the game. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. All right. Let's head up inside and see if there's anything there. Holding shift is not showing anything interactable. And that's the only thing interactable there. We could... Which is actually kind of a lie, because this is interactable. But let's check the mailbox. Just in case. It's empty. Alright, just wanted to make sure. Nothing else. Alright. So we know... Hmm. She go to Uncle Mink's whenever she had a chance. Or her Uncle Pete's or whatever for the mink. We can always double check. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get out of here then. And maybe we'll leave and see if there's anywhere else we can go. So, the only place we can go... Uh, there's something up there. Maybe this way. Maybe north. Did she say where Uncle Pete lived, though? Oh. Kicksand, huh? But is it a truck there? What is this? This sucker's mine. Who, who is the sucker? Look, I really need a ride. What? Look, I really... All right, let's go inside. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What? What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. Wow. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway oh, 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. Yeah. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. How about you, sir? Can I talk to you? I can do that. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna All right, happen. or not? All right, uh... Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> well, that'll do it. Am I distracting you? <laughs> He's very happy about the fact that I'm distracting him. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Okay. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. Come on, man, there's roadblocks. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers. They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Hmm. Look, I really need a look, ride. I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Alright, what if I beat him Why? up? Because you're afraid of some cops. No, because I don't like you. All right. I just killed a guy. <laughs> I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. Wow. All right. All right. I don't think that's good for the table. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quohog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm going to be knifing up your table for a while. All right. The customer with the knife is always right. All right. Well, maybe I can beat him up. You. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quohog. Quohog. How about I beat him up? He's got a knife. Yeah? So, be badass. He's got a knife. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Anywhere else I can go. Uh... 
Ben! Oh, hello? Psst. Oh, we're back in the dumpster area. Psst. Okay, chill! Hello? Ben, no time to talk. Oh, you're the lady with the camera. You know, it's dank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me. Get my editor. He's got to get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Hey, oh, Star Wars reference. Oh, don't Old worry. Lucas I owe you one. Lucas Art's game makes if sense. Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place. That could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Anything else I can grab here? A new hope. I, I like it. I can't see any use for the. No. Just making sure. Nah. How about I punch he can the box? In his own boxes. I've touched it enough. Take that. Quit it! Sorry, I just don't like you very much. All right, so I should be able to just go then. I've got fake ID. We can just bounce out of here. I want to leave. Nope, nope, nope. I would like to go. Maybe I can convince him to go with a fake ID, actually. Uh. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Oh, or stab it. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I remember it used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? Hell yes. What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. That's gross. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like that's a little on the dangerous side, but you know. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. Oh, great. I love engine fires. Can I do anything? Not really. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the feds. Jump and check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you really get your man. <laughs> that worked surprisingly well. We stopped moving. Yep, we certainly have. Hello? Did we make it? Problem with your truck? Yeah. <laughs> Loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Thanks, man. Gotta hit the road, you know. It's a weird looking truck. Uh oh. Yeah, that's how I feel. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Of course, that's what he did. Why are you even remotely surprised? He was not trustworthy to begin with. You're just lucky he got you here and didn't freaking kill you along the way. The barn's locked. All right, let's go in here. A lot of stuff. So what do we got here? Locks of hair? Looks like a mink pelt. Oh, we're actually here. I couldn't break that lock. How about you kick it? I couldn't break that lock. And I don't have a lock pick anymore? I don't have anything. Oh, okay. Lots of bikes. 
No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. And I can't grab one of these. I'm not into furs. Okay, just checking. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl, dreaming of her life repairing toasters. It's so boring. Hmm. No. How about under the pillow? Oh, hell yes. Tire iron? What's this? That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? She has connections, man. She mm. said it. No. All right. Actually, no. You know what? Back in. What if we use the tire iron on the lock? Yeah. Did it work? Uh, yeah. Junk. What do you mean junk? The hose I can use on my bike. There you go. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Except you know when my Mo? bike is. Oh no. No! You serious? Alright, screw it, let's go! That was the quickest repair job I've ever seen, by the way. Why is she running? Is that the is that the trucker? Oh hell it is, it is, it is. Please! Oh no, we're just leaving him. I was hoping we were gonna like smack him or something. Hey, it's Mo. Mo, she's a vulture. It's Mo. Here she goes. Didn't she give me one of those though? She took my booster fuel. Of course she uh, did. Why is she running for me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. Well, there's the asshole trucker. Why is he ramming me off the side of the road? That does it. Also, he's dead. There's an Empire tattoo from Star Wars. That's awesome. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. What? Hey guys. Those are some cave fish. Those are the cave fish. All right. Still some neat looking bikes. Good, get him. Get him. Oh hell, they've got <laughs> uh Oh Jesus. <laughs> What's that? Dynamite? Just suction cup dynamite? Oh no! Of course they're gonna blow out the bridge. Well, he's dead. This cargo is worthless. It's like Mad we Max style. Trick to my brothers. Back to the cave. Who's that? Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong. And she is that Nestor? Here. She's coming. Yeah. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Welp. Uh, what do we have in our inventory? Just the tire iron. All right, well, let's take a look. Maybe we can use it to lodge something free, or I don't know. It's bolted on. Well, we have this, my good friend. I don't know what I'm trying to unbolt, but let's do it. What did we get? Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. So we just... Can I know? The truck has them pinned. I ain't looking to buy. I'm not putting my lips on a lot of weight on those babies. Okay. Where are we trying to go? I guess we can see what's down here. I mean, I know that it's the bridge, it's all let out, but. Oh, take exit. Okay, well, okay. There's an exit there, apparently. Mine Road 4. Well, like, what's, what's... 
what's up here if we don't go anywhere? All right, we should have stayed. It's only mine road four. It seems like it's all it is is that one option. So we might as well and see what's going on up here. It, don't tell me this is gonna be one of those. Ooh, that's like. Excuse me. What? Wait, what? I... Wait, what? <laughs> Why did I, like, why did I wipe out there? Alright, so there we go. So we can take a look at this then. Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. Good. One of the gorge's many casualties. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. So that's what I need. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. The cave hmm. fish. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. Can I go over here? No. Not on foot. Well, let's grab our bike then. What, what's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, and a silly looking ramp with Dago flames painted on it. Well, we can take a look at the bridge and just see what he thinks. I'm assuming we're just gonna need to get things for it. Something tells me the bridge is out. Good, good one. That's a, that's a, that's a good joke. That's a, that's a high quality, uh, quippy one liner. All right, so we're gonna head back then. So can I, like, do I actually have to, like, <laughs> do the road parts where he's just wandering? No. I can skip those. Oh, hey! Or not! We're running. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him run. Here we go. Where are we going? Okay, the mouse it actually controls this. Skip this. Ah, all right. Ah! Watch it. See ya. Are we gonna have him bringing him back and forth? Oh, all right, all right. What are we doing? Okay, that's the same every time. All right, so we probably have to do something here. I don't want to get stuck in this loop. Ah, cave fish. Is he gonna follow me? Thrilling so far. Hey, hey, biker friend. Are we friends? Father Tor. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Not great. Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Okay. You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? 
It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. All right, we'll have to get that. Father Tort, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Just help a man out. Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? Apparently a lot of people. What's up with those cavefish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted They're blind? Killers. Wait, what? How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the room and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. Interesting. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? Well, let's get out of here. You're right. No one's tougher than me. That's my boy. Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cavefish specs. Oh, okay. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Alright, well, we'll take this exit. So we lost them, I think. No, nope, they're there. All right. Ah! Watch it. Huh. So the only way we know how is to just exit this road. Okay. Another guy over here. Oh, we're gonna switch? Wait. Oh, I can use my tire iron. Kick! Kick him! Kick him! Alright, he beat me. Wow, that's awful! That kid does not control well. Remotely. Like, at all. Alright, what's over here? Exit 9 only. And that goes back here. Here, we're gonna stop here. I wonder if I can do anything here. Like, it feels like I need to get the, the guys all messed up on this car. Truck has them pinned. Has what pinned? Where am I going? Where's he going? Hello? That's a wheel. Can't reach it. What are you talking? Where? All right, I don't know where he went. So I loosened it and I knocked it over. So now I need to get them to chase me down this way. That makes sense. All right, he takes his sweet ass time to walk though. What a mess. Yeah, it's a mess, all right. So can I do anything here? <laughs> Just kick it. I've done my heavy lifting for the day. I'd call that a road hazard. All right, cool. So, uh, with that, I think we're going to bring the cars out this way. All right. There, and they do that. And then, boom. Wait, it didn't do anything? Nope, nope. This time it did do something. This time it did do something. All right. Boss, 
It was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. Okay. We're going to lure the Corley women out of hiding with a bike. Ross, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. All right. So now I think we can go back. And we can swing into the garage. Hopefully. I would assume it's going to be unlocked. She did leave. You can move just a little faster. The barn's locked. How is it locked? It's meant for nuts. I've got nut for you right now, buddy. Not going back that way. Too many cops. Mm. Check the bed, maybe? Not after Mo made it so nice. I mean, you kind of moved the pillow, so, you know, just saying, you've already messed with it. Right, so there's nothing here that I need. Maybe their, uh, their car is gonna be up ahead and we can, like, maybe strip the car. So we'll, we'll go up ahead and see if the car shows up. Don't need to stop here. Let's see if their car crashed. Yeah, it looks like it did. All right, cool. So we do need to use the road, the road mechanic, the driving mechanic every so often. So we can probably just loot this car for whatever it's got. I'm not putting my lips on that. Let's see what he says. Now there's one thing I've never needed. I don't touch anything without wheels. Why? <laughs> uh. Okay, see, just start poking at things, man. What am I getting? What did I just grab? Put it on my bike? Looks okay for an aftermarket part. Okay, so now it's on my car. Or my bike, rather. What does it do? Let's uh, go ahead and skip ahead here. Let's see if maybe he'll be able to make the jump. I got the lift. Now I need the booster for speed and that ramp. No, no, no. Stop, stop. So now I need... I got the lift. Now I need the booster for speed. I need to find the cave fish, I guess. Down the mine road. I guess we'll kind of just go down the road and see if there's anything there. Okay, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. I don't want to fight this guy. Ugh. Come on, come on! You gotta just punch him to death! Hell yeah! Probably didn't do anything good, but you know, we'll see if it actually helped. That three frames a second combat's uh, real good. Who's this? Another biker? Another fight. Because this is just what we do now. He's got a chain! He's got a chain! He's got a chain, dog! Stay in his face! Stay in his face! Stay! Stay in his face! There we go. We're just really good at this game. What? I got the chain? Is that what happened? I got the chain? Hey! Hey, I've got a chain! Hey! Watch this! Like choppers, oh huh? shit, girl! Oh, okay. <laughs> it's 
okay? I don't understand, man. And we're back. All right. I am going to end this episode here, and we'll pick it up next time, hopefully finding what we need. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.